block level storage to this SQL Server. You're going to see that because on my Windows Explorer, there will be a new drive letter that shows up. I can control where it goes and what mount points and all that, but just for simplicity's sake, I let it take the defaults, which is to put a drive so you can all see it easily. After the drive shows up, we're going to actually add that database into SQL Server. And for those of you that are SQL literate, we're going to do this without actually copying the data anywhere. It's going to run directly off of the, the disk that's in the Actifio physical or virtual appliance. It's then going to take the logs and roll them forward to the point in time that this development user specified and bring that database to an online state. I can see in the background here I've got a disk drive that's showed up. If I select on my databases and I hit refresh here, I can see my DevOps database has appeared. It's in restoring mode. That means it's now going to go and start doing the, the log roll forwards for me. While that's going on, let's take a quick look back in my environment at another database. I'm going to go to Oracle, and I'm going to say, I've got the exact same capabilities here. In this case, you can see Provision Virtual Oracle Database is the name of a, of a workflow. I've selected it, I can say run now. It's almost the exact same thing as before. Now in this example, I haven't turned on log monitoring, the archive logs in Oracle. So I don't have the ability to roll to a specific point in time, any point in time with the slider, but I can pick any of the database snapshots that I've captured from the source. I can see the list of servers. In this case, I've selected my Oracle database. It's logical I'm gonna mount it to an Oracle server. I have to give it a SID. I'll select DevOps. The rest of the data is pre-populated by the administrator. They can override it if they need to, and you'll notice that the options here are different than they were for SQL Server, which makes sense. Different database, different options. But again, without needing to do anything other than giving it a name, I can go ahead and say next, and it'll begin that process for me. 